Hello and welcome back to my channel. I've chosen not to be on camera today because it's absolutely boiling hot in the studio. So yeah, hopefully be back to normal next week. But today I'm making the one and only Tony Soprano or James Gandolfini. And I'm gonna base him on this particular outfit. He's really well known for being in his bathrobe. So yeah, I thought it was only appropriate. So to start, I'm going to work on Tony's head or James's head. So I just need to condition some clay. I hope you're all doing well. It's uh, absolutely scorching here in the UK at the moment. As much as I like the sun, it's yeah a bit too hot for me. So hopefully things will cool a little next week. I like it really between sort of 20 and 25 degrees, but it's 30 today, so yeah, um, way too hot for me. So as Tony has a hairy chest, I'm just going to give him the suggestion of some hair here. I don't know really if it will come through in the final model, but I just want to give myself the option to show that if I can. So I can move on to his base now. So I'm going to make it a dark grey to reflect his drive where he goes and collects his newspapers and stares scornfully at the world. I was really tempted to make Tony Soprano last week, so it was really weird because um, it was only sort of on last Friday when I would have released the video that I found out that it was the anniversary of his death, which was, uh, yeah, quite odd really. But I made uh, Tom Baker as Doctor Who instead, and I think it was because I was unsure which kind of outfit to, to work with. For Tony but yeah that was almost like a bit of synchronicity that would have worked out really so I yeah I thought I'll make him this week instead as you know I, I really love The Sopranos. I don't know if it's my favourite TV show ever it's certainly up there because it's just so beautifully done and you know I'm, I'm not hugely into kind of mafia or mobster stories but there's just something that's yeah really compelling about The Sopranos. It's beautifully done, every episode is you know pure art really, the cinematography is sublime so yeah I think I need to re-watch it actually. Um, I completely missed it the first time round, it's just that Ian's a massive fan of The Sopranos and I watched it maybe about four or five years ago and I was quite reluctant um, as you know I, I didn't think it'd be for me at all and it's yeah just amazing really so a big thumbs up from me and I'd um, recommend it if you've not seen it already. I think it's about time I gave it a rewatch actually. If you're new to my channel, I'm a polymer clay artist and illustrator and I make weekly videos about my polymer clay sculptures, some tutorials etc. So if you like what you see, by all means go and hit the subscribe button and remember to hit the bell for notifications as well. So I'm just making Tony's pyjama trousers here. So I'll just pop in some craft wire so I can attach the body once it's baked. And because Tony's pyjamas have a check pattern on, which is near impossible to make with polymer clay, I thought I'd try some really thin stripes, uh, really to see what it looked like. But yeah, I wasn't really happy with it really. It didn't really evoke pyjamas, it just looked like some weird lines of clay on his trousers really. So yeah, I just took those off, but 
I included this just to show that it's always worth experimenting because sometimes you'll hit on an idea that really works, other times not so much. But you know, it's always good to try new things because you never know. So now I can attach Tony's head to his body. And for the fans of uh, The Sopranos out there, I'm sure you'll be as excited as I am to know that there's a film on its way. And I think it's penciled in for next spring. It was supposed to be out later this year, but obviously with everything going on, it's been put back um, a few months. So that's something that I'm really looking forward to. Just interrupt here just to say that at this point I'm using some foil just on his stomach here just to pad things out because you know it's always good to add foil where possible instead of just you know endless amounts of polymer clay. And I'll give my pasta machine another clean here. Again, I just thought I'd include this really to demonstrate that, you know, it's always good to keep your pasta machine clean. I tend to clean mine about three or four times during the process making a model, particularly as I'm now working with white clay. It's always a bit soul destroying actually when you put some white clay through and it picks up everything else on the, the pasta roller. So yeah, it's always good to do. And because it's a bathrobe, I need to apply some texture here, just with a toothbrush, just to make it look a little more convincing, really. And I'll just attach that to his body. So yeah, as I was saying, the film is out next year, and it's called The Many Saints of Newark. And rather interestingly, the role of Tony Soprano is going to be played by James Gandolfini's son, which is really quite an amazing thing to do. And if anything, it's made me want to see the film more, really. I don't know anything about his son, really, Michael Gandolfini, so that will be a really interesting watch. And also, there's a new podcast about The Sopranos out uh, at the moment, and it's the chap that plays Christopher Montesanti in The Sopranos, Michael Imperioli, who's, yeah, heading up the podcast. And I believe that he and a colleague go through every episode of The Sopranos on this podcast, like a blow-by-blow -blow account, really. So that's uh, yeah, Ian's been really enjoying that, but I've still to give it a listen. So yeah, it's another one to add to the list. I don't know about you, but there's all these podcasts that I'm desperate to listen to, but it's just about getting the time, really. I try where possible to listen to podcasts while I'm working, but for whatever reason, once I'm working on a creative task, I kind of really lose concentration on what I'm listening to. So. I've had to listen to the same podcasts over and over just to be able to kind of get a sense of what's going on. How do you get on with podcasts if you're a creative artist too? Is it something that you're able to do? Because, you know, I can't at all. <laughs> Here's um, me adding some eyebrows to Tony, which makes him look a lot more convincing. And here he is, all done. I'm pretty pleased with it. I think the likeness could have been a little tighter, if I'm honest. Similarly to Tom Baker as Doctor Who last week, but because of the way I work with colours polymer clay, it can be a little tricky here and there. So all in all, I'm yeah, pretty pleased with this one. Thanks for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.